win of the 2012 season, Lewis Hamilton. It's the sixth uh, win for McLaren, of course, and in fact the, the twelfth win for the team in the United States, which matches the Ferrari's total tally in the States over the years. You know what I think, Ben, is remarkable about that? Sometimes when you talk with Lewis out of the car, he, he, he's thoughtful as he's answering. You know, there's a slight hesitation. When he's in the car there, he's just delivering exactly, you know, completely clear, telling the team, we deserve this, you know, you were on it all weekend, thank you for the pit stop. This wasn't just some, you know, ticking the boxes of the things he thinks he should say. He's absolutely in the moment. He's made to race these cars, and that was a fantastic use of the opportunity. He saw the traffic, got himself in the position to overtake, and that sometimes is what makes the difference between winning and losing. Well, he's done something that uh, I and Senna did in the US Grand Prix, and that is to win on two different circuits down here. Senna won in Detroit and Phoenix. Hamilton has now done it at Indy and at Austin. Vettel finished in second place. Alonso, a fabulous third, and that keeps the championship alive. Massa, fast in fourth. Button had to settle for fifth place, coming from 11th on the grid. Then Raikkonen, Grosjean, Hulkenberg, Maldonado and Senna completing the points scorers. Sergio Perez unfortunately just outside the points. Uh, Daniel Ricciardo was 12th and the Mercedes struggling. Rosberg was down in 13th, Schumacher 16th, split by Kobayashi and the rest of We've got the two Caterhams to the finish, the two Mauritius and the HRC, and only two non-finishers today. Uh, sadly for Mark Webber, ending a run of finishes that uh, has beaten the record, but he didn't make it to the end today, and Jean-Eric Byrne was the other non-finisher. But Lewis Hamilton, victorious here in the USA. Sebastian Vettel beaten, but not bowed because he is still in the, in the championship lead. He still has that advantage. 13 points he will have over Fernando Alonso. But what a prospect we have now going into Brazil with the tussle between the two of them. Alonso loving the fact that it'll go to Brazil. And uh, look, let's get some reaction here now from Lewis Hamilton as he clambers out of the car. Makes it, uh, oh, well, looks much easier than Sebastian trying to get out of his car. When you win, there's a lot more energy, David. There is indeed. And there you can see that energy. Look how happy he is. He loves it. This is what I mean about Lewis. He's such in his zone, such a, a clarity of thought and ability. When he puts his crash helmet on, he was born to race. And that was a great race. It was. A beautifully just race by Lewis Hamilton. A brilliantly driven weekend. And when you bear in mind, Sebastian Vettel was fastest in every single practice session, every single qualifying segment, and ended up with fastest lap. But Hamilton got the all-important race victory. Well, when you're running at the peak of performance, they say the air gets a bit thin there. And uh, in today, Lewis had his moments. There's been moments where... Quite clearly in Abu Dhabi, he was robbed of what could have been a certain victory. That's just the way it was in motor racing. You know, this isn't this is just man against man, it's man and machine working together, and that's how close it was at the end. And isn't that a nice sporting gesture? A clap of the hands. Well, very happy. The only mistake we did. Well, Ben, I, I, I don't want to seem like I'm overplaying all this wonderful sporting behaviour we're seeing amongst these professionals, but a clap of the hands. You know, he's not giving it bitter and twisted about that maybe he lost an opportunity. There's respect, real respect amongst these guys, and it's wonderful to see. Fernando Alonso still with the uh, crash helmet on as he comes up to the podium area. See if we get any uh, conversations going on up here. Interesting that uh, Alonso doesn't engage in any of that conversation. He never seems to, does he? Oh, no, he's talking about procedure. <laughs>
I have a slightly different winner's cap here in Texas. Brilliant. That's great. What else?